Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, we are first week in February, and I must say, I feel, uh, I feel brand new. I feel rejuvenated. Well, yesterday was my birthday, but be better than that, I must say. It's like uh, we've had tremendous strong winds in California, especially in Los Angeles area, and it's been so strong. And I love the wind. I love the sound of the wind. I love the sound of thunder. I love the sound of rain because I like to call it I'm auditory and I become one with the sounds. So. May the wind be with you. And I like to stand and say, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of you who have texted me, called me, messaged me, wishing me a happy birthday. It's been absolutely amazing. And I, it was so much that I am... Um, grateful i have not received so many uh abundance all at once and i love calling it an abundance because it is an abundance of love pouring in it's been an abundance of celebration with friends families people who have not been in touch with me for such a long time so today it is about gratefulness and it's about standing up standing up for so much and gratefulness today's message is going to be what are we standing up for so before we go further i'd like to say please subscribe and tap on the bell down here i would love to be in touch with you hi mark how are you hello adrian it's me too lisa amen thank you for being here all the time yes so yeah yesterday was beautiful it started a few days ago and the day before my birthday I was at a Super Bowl party with a lot of people I know. They are dear to my heart. Even in the morning, I celebrated with three special people who have come into my life just months ago. And I sort of adopted them. It's as if they are my children. I can be a grandma to, one, uh, to her daughter. But that's what life is all about how we embrace things that come our way and instead of thinking at that it's happening at me or things are coming at me like the wind i turn around and i say may the wind be with me so it's shifting of perception of the things that are happening in our life and how we embrace things and how we stand up. So I want to know what is it that you stand up for, what you take stands for. And stand up can mean a lot of things. Thank you for the hearts. Hi, Arina John. Thank you. You are the one who has come into my life, you, your brother, your daughter, that I cherish and I thank. Um, Standing up, I have a book, which I will tell you a little bit further, uh, a little bit more about, actually, I'm going to say right now, on February 22nd, if you are anywhere near the Los Angeles area, by all means, please drop in at the Burbank Barnes & Noble from 2 to 5. I'm doing a book signing on Stand Up to Slim Down, my book. Yes. Now, Stand Up to Slim Down, I wrote this book because of it being a weight loss book. Because, you know, everyone talks about losing weight. We've talked about um, how to diet, how to do everything. Through the work that I do as hypnotherapist, I 
help my clients first and foremost gain a better uh, a better perspective about why they want to lose the weight why even diet why even um, go through a, a all kinds of exercise dieting losing weight and everything why do they go through this if they do this yo-yo weight gain weight loss um, is it age is it menopause is it eating is it stress so there is so much of a dynamic in weight and how we hold on to weight gaining weight losing weight so stand up came to fruition because I wanted everyone to boost their self-esteem and have a better self-esteem and self-worth of I am worthy to have a better body image. I am worthy to have this sexy body. I want the sexy body. I know I deserve it. I like myself when I feel sexy. I like myself when I look in the mirror. My body looks sensual, sexy, strong, toned, fit, all of that. When we look in the mirror and we like what we see, we, the person who is doing the body image, who is doing the body shaping, contouring, everything, not necessarily because of the lap bands and everything. And if you have to buy things, but stand up to slim down came to standing up for yourself. Not losing weight for someone else, not having the body or being sexy or anything for someone else. Which brings me to when you want to lose weight, all the things you go through. Are you doing it for you? And when you do, how do, how do you gain? What do you gain in your life? And are you sure that's what you want? Because I had a client who literally before she came to me, lost all the weight. She lost over 25 pounds and then she gained it. And then she went on extreme diet for six months dieting 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 she lost it again and then she was gonna get engaged she uh got she was happy all that after she had a breakup a temporary breakup she started eating and self-punishment now she wants to lose the weight again and here's my question are you doing it for you or are you doing this for someone else do you want to be beautiful for someone else or do you want to be beautiful for you because when you are beautiful for you when you like yourself when you enjoy standing in front of the mirror when you eat what you want to eat and you want to nourish your body and instead of the dieting, the exercise, six hours, three hours a day on a treadmill, five miles a day on a treadmill, just because of someone else, that is not standing up for you. So I stand up for you to hold your hand, boost your self-esteem, boost your confidence, and for you to know that whatever you're doing, Shedding off the negative uh, mindset, shedding off the weight is for you because that's all that matters. Here's another thing. At the Super Bowl game, we had Shakira and J-Lo. The best performance, maybe, yes, it was too busy. Maybe it was too many uh, dancers happening, the music and everything, and the concentration was not necessarily on them. They were shaking, uh, dancing. It was just wonderful. There are women who have said this was probably one of the best halftimes at a NFL 
And there are those who are saying with all the Me Too movement, this was a shame. Well, it's a perception. We can tear other women down or we can stand up and say, this is a halftime show and they rocked it. They did. So my question to you is thumbs up or thumbs down? And if it is a thumbs down, why? Why? And if it's a thumbs up, why? I think these two women have paid the price of all the negativity they've gone through. No matter what they do, there's going to be negative talk about the way they look, the way they dress, the way they do this, the show. But what about the workmanship? The things they have gone through to be the expert in what they do. The success, the business, it is a business. Getting there is not easy. Having a halftime show, being selected to do the halftime show is not easy. And these two women have probably paid the price more than so many. Not only their heritage, their workmanship, they are a mother, they are a wife. Yes, they are a celebrity. They are everything that so many women aspire to be. And... We don't have to be a celebrity to appreciate the work ethic. We don't have to be a celebrity to appreciate all the things and the work they do to keep up with their body. Yes, being a celebrity, they have the massage therapist, they have their cooks, they have their gym, they have everything, but so do we. You know what we have? We can have work ethics. We can have ownership of our body. We can have, we can go and walk five miles a day and just jump rope. Uh, we can walk our dogs or not necessarily a dog. Go walking five hours a day. Become more conscious about what you eat. Reduce your stress. Reduce and peel away the negative thoughts, the negative um, gestures, the negative self-inflicted uh, thoughts and ideas, concepts, all the things that happen, we do it to ourselves. No one shoves the food in us. No one tells us. And if we are in an environment or with people who are constantly putting us down, who are scolding us, who are putting uh, labels upon us, then it's up to us to turn around and say, that label is no longer acceptable. This environment is no longer acceptable. And if we accept it, and some of us call it, we have no choice, I believe we do. It's a choice, the consequences of the choice that may not be very well thought through, but there is a choice. There's always a choice. You see, at the half game, at the halftime show, uh, during Jay Len uh, Jennifer Lopez, when she was doing it, they had this beautiful, I call them like... Um, they looked like a cage, but they were not like a cage. And some people call it a cage, but I saw it was like the Cinderella um, carriage. That it was absolutely amazing. And the kids inside, when they sang, it was just precious. Even her daughter, J. Lo's daughter, it was in one of those. And I like to call it the Cinderella cocoon. It it was not closed off. For some, it looked like a cage. And some of us are stuck in our own body, either overwhelmed, overweight, overshadowed, over <sighs> whatever it is that you want to call it, unappreciated. And this is the under, disvalued, unvalued. 
But if we think that we are undervalued, underappreciated, are we appreciating ourselves? Are we standing in front of the mirror and saying, I am worthy, I am deserving? You see, through hypnotherapy, we peel away all this uh, facade and words that are no longer appreciated. Like calling it a cage when it was absolutely beautiful. And sometimes that's what we see. But it's not reality. Because through that beautiful Cinderella carriage that I call it, or the cocoon, she could get out. And most of us, I believe, are stuck in our own self-created prisons. Where the key is in our pocket, but we are afraid of using that key to come out, to come out of that, as some call it, the cage. Because after a long while, that cage becomes a comfort zone. The weight becomes a comfort zone. As long as I am heavy, I am not being seen, or I am not appealing, I am not sexy, because if I become sexy, someone else is going to take notice. And if they take notice of my body, what do I do? Maybe someone else is going to scold me if I become more beautiful and sexy. And what do I do with that scolding? So it becomes a catch-22. I understand it. And that is exactly why you need to get to know yourself. When I talk about Heal Within, the name of my business is truly becoming more aware of our past. Because our past may not be the reality. And yet we are stuck in the past perception, in the past thoughts, in the past fears. So past fears continue on to this day and we're still stuck in that, in that cage. You do have the key. You've always had the key. I can help you. Take that key out of your pocket to unlock the door, to stand up for yourself, to come to appreciate yourself, accept yourself, honor yourself, and know that you are so deserving and worthy to turn that cage into a beautiful cocoon, into that Cinderella cage, because you deserve the best. You deserve the prince. You deserve to go to the balls with the most beautiful dress. And not for the prince, but for you. So that when you get dressed, when you walk out, you smile for you. You smile for that inner child. You say yes to you. And when you stand up for yourself, others will see that beauty. Because beauty is from the inside. No matter what we do, if we're doing it for someone else, that happiness will wear off. But the joy of you creating your self-respect, self-worth, self-honor of you standing up for you the little girl the little boy is priceless so i help you heal within i help you shed the weight i help you shed and release the negative thoughts ideas concepts images of what was and that's how I help my clients. That's how I help everyone so that when we see something beautiful, 
we appreciate it. And Shakira and J Lo, no matter if it was a pull, if it was a stick this way, you would have someone would have said, why are they holding on to a cane instead of up going up on a pole? It was a movie. She did a movie, and she continued with that. So kudos to them. Kudos for an incredible, incredible halftime show. Kudos to the Chiefs for playing an incredible game. And after 50-something years, they took the crown home. It takes a lot of dedication to do the work. It takes dedication, workmanship, sportsmanship. Because it's not about the ring. It's about self-pride. So, Stand Up to Slim Down is the name of the book that I help my clients shed not only physical weight, but emotional weight. It's a workbook that we delve deeper to peel away and heal. So again, on February 22nd, if you are anywhere near the Los Angeles area, by all means, I invite you to come to my book signing. I would love for your support. And what would you want me to talk about next time? I like to delve deeper each week, talk about each chapter. For the next nine weeks, I can go in and hone in and become so accurate about why we feel certain things, why we hold on to certain things. How is it that stress for some people helps them literally lose weight like overnight? And for others, stress is heavy and they can't deal with it. So they just add on and add on and suppress a lot of that because they don't know how to cope. So they just put it on the body. It's not easy to carry emotional weight. Something will have to give. So Yes, you can also go to my website, which is healwithin.com. Go to the shop, see the audio recordings that I have, plus the books that I have, which is Stand Up to Slim Down, Heal Thy Mind Body, Stomp on Smoking, literally Stomp on Smoking. I also have the affirmation bracelets. I've got clients that literally this bracelet does not come off their hand and it's become their mantra every day in every way I accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than ever before every day in every way I stand up for myself I own my responsibilities I evoke what was I embrace what is the reality the here and now. And I am ready to evolve to what is it that I desire, I want, I want to create in my life. Because we truly need to step into what we desire. That image that we want to create, either being successful, having an incredible body, having a loving relationship, Becoming a millionaire, having a good sportsmanship, everything. It takes dedication day in, day out, doing, doing the same thing over and over, over and over, over and over until it is embedded in us that no one can shatter it. And you have the choice. You choose your life. Letting go of the history, appreciating the present, the reality, so that you can create what you want in the future. Why? 
because you do matter. You do. So with that, let me see. Never smoked in my life. Awesome. Yes. Um, hi, Lilia. Hi, Ray. How are you? Hope all is well with you. Oops, I am. Let's say, isn't this gorgeous? Yes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous roses that Arina gave me. And I thank you. Thank you for the beautiful uh, who you are. You being beautiful yourself. Um, twice a month, I have real talk with Lisa, which I bring guests and everything. And I want to thank Yasmin Beers from last week. And here's my question to you. Who would you like to hear? Who would you recommend me to interview? What is it that you want me to bring as far as... Um, a speaker that you would like me to interview? What is it that you want to experience? By all means, let me know. Give me names, share with me. Um, tell me your comments. If you are here live, by all means, say something. Thank you. Hi, Rosa. Hello for all of you being here. And um, yes, uh, like share i come to you for you um and someone gave me this beautiful cards they are healing cards and i'm not a fortune teller but they are so beautiful i drew a card and let's draw a card i just drew a card without knowing it says god gives you only the present moment by moment how apropos, how much of your precious day do you invest in the past? <laughs> this cannot be any more apropos. It says everything from your past except wisdom and love has long since served its purpose. Witness what calls to you from yesterday and appreciate today and why. So this is today's message. God gives you only the present moment by moment. So with that, I thank you for being here. Stand up for your friends. Stand up for what you believe. And stand up for yourself. Until next week, I thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. May God bless you and the universal light surround you at all times. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mark.